suppose that given our previous model, you weren't quite sure if you had chosen the right weight for technical knowledge. Maybe you decide that, you know, maybe you aren't quite sure that you really want to weight technical knowledge as one. Maybe you want to made it weight, weight it higher. So if you want to quickly find out what all of those different scenarios are, you can use um, some tools that Excel has. So let's just quickly grab our list here of candidates and put them down here. And then we're going to just put at, in here the percent of best. I'm just going to say set these cells equal to the percent of best. Now, what we want to find out is what the percent of best will be given a bunch of different values for the weights. So let's start, let's just do a few different values for the weights. So let's start with 1, 1 1.25, and we'll just go up by uh, half, half a point, or quarter of a point, up until about 4. So we can see all of those. So the next thing we want to do is we want to select this table and we come over here to data and we come over here to what if analysis. So data table here in what if analysis is what we want to choose. Then we'll come here and use the column input cell. And what this is going to do is it's going to take this cell that I select here and put it in to, oh sorry, not there, this cell here. That's a better way to do it because we're, we want to change the value of technical knowledge, the weight for technical knowledge to all of these different values and calculate what they're going to be. So we'll take first a 1, plug it in, then we'll do take 1.25, 1.5, and on each of these rows we're going to see what the percent of best ranking will be given the value that we're replacing here in the weights. So uh, let's just hit enter here and let's click OK. And now this this apparently is not a very good example because we don't have much change over here um, for Canada A. They're always the best. So that's that gives us a pretty good idea that Canada A, even though they may have pretty low technical knowledge, even if we made technical knowledge really important, still wouldn't make much of a difference in who we choose. So let's just show you if if you happen to have more variation you can just come in here and you can say you can count how many times they were ranked one. So you just do a count if and you take the range here select the whole range and then you just enter one. What that's doing is it's just taking all of those cells counting the number of times that they equal one in that range, we get 13 because there are 13 times that that is equal to 1 and the others are 0. Um, and so we can, if we came in here and we played with the numbers, let's just see, I'm hoping these things will update. We'll just find out they do update if we just play around with things and we um, change our rankings. You can see the numbers change but they're not changing our ranking very much.